Okay, Alex has expressed his concern or annoyance that I may have made a big blunder here. Um, I'm filming at this angle, which is actually the way coming down the house. I can't shoot it the other way because of the glare off the ocean. It's making it impossible to see through it through the camera. Um, the posts were only available in, I think, 6 foot and 10 foot lengths which didn't really give me a lot to work with. I got the 10 foot length, because I should have mentioned earlier, it allowed me to cut down whatever wasn't appropriate or needed. I did never expect that the full 10 foot post, um, with about seven and a half feet of it, to seven feet of it above ground, was going to be a permanent marker. I have uh, put some green nursery tape at about, six feet or so more or less about six feet high and then I put a second layer a green nursery tape down below already holding up the berries you can see the berries are coming in at three and a half to uh, yeah about three and a half feet tall they're just a little above my hip moving towards my chest so, if we're standing back with the berries straight up, and keep in mind this is just the first flush, and this isn't even the full growth of the plants. The idea was that they were going to cover the back area, so you can easily take the post down to the top of green nursery tape level, or even a little bit lower if desired, and uh, that would be the height of the uh, post, the berries draping over the upper wire. I'm trying to catch it from looking upwards. So if we're looking at the house up above, you can see the post uncut right now, sticking up above the uh, Pride of Madeira, the Echium, and then the green tape line. The green tape line almost puts it about the height of the black fence in relation to view. So that screens out from the house up above what they would be looking down into and covers up from the rest of the property what you'd be looking into the service area with.